on the Shoe Renner Drawing Channel today, we are talking about mannequins and how you can use them to help your drawing. One problem they have is that they don't hold their poses very well. So what can we do about that? <laughs> you see, they're not very good at holding their arm and leg positions. Duh. <laughs> so what do we do with these things? Well, they're, they're really reasonably cheap these days and they're very, very useful um, just to have around as something to, to draw and to put into a quick pose. But the more you draw them, the more you will get this model transferred into your brain as a little model inside your head uh, from which you can draw anything you like. Here, let me show you how. Well, I'm working on my first how to draw book at the moment. We should be along quite soon. <laughs> I'll put a link up here when it is. And uh, I, one of the things I've been doing is talking about um, mannequins and how to use them and, and how you can do all these kind of poses. But you probably wouldn't be able to do these poses um, with your mannequin. You have to do them in your imagination. And, um, and you can then make them thinner and you can make them fatter. You could even turn them into cats and dogs. <laughs> Once you've got them inside your imagination, you can get them moving and then to put clothes on them and then turn them into characters. With a mannequin, we have a head and then a neck. So you want a little ball for that. And a body is going to be triangular. They're going to be slightly different shapes for male and female. And then you want a ball there, which is kind of the waist. And then the pelvis. And you can have a little ball on the shoulders, as you really kind of would on a human being. They're kind of a shoulder joint. And then basically you've got kind of tubes and balls and then you're going to have tubes, balls and, and the same with the legs and you can make them thicker and thinner and longer and shorter depending on quite what you want to do. Let me get this all in the frame, there we are, like that. And this is kind of seen from the side and if you get this inside your head it will make drawing characters from your head an awful lot easier. Drawing somebody slightly from above, um, we can imagine that the head is going to be a bit like that. So we want a, a ball joint underneath there. And then the body is going to be a kind of a parallel box, <laughs> a parallelogram kind of box with a ball joint on there. Now, if they're running, they're going to have their arm going backwards and that would be a tube there with a ball on the end, a line coming down there and I think they're probably going to have their holding their fists actually so you can sort of start playing with a bit, bit a bit like that. Now this will be the tube, I'm going to have it come down there a bit more like that I think and then there'll be a ball there and then <laughs> a ball on there and again they're going to be holding their fist like that. Now, uh, now we need the, the, the waist, don't we? And I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring the... I'm going to have a kind of a bend in the body there. So maybe they're doing more of a, a long jumpy kind of thing. They're reaching out. And there'll be a ball under there and a ball under there. And... And then let's have the... I'm going to have them reaching out much further like that. So maybe they're doing the hurdles. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> and we'll have a ball at the end. And then they're going to be reaching there. And then on this leg, they will be going that away. I haven't got a model in front of me, but I have got this model in my head. And, and that is the secret of it. And, and I think the only way to get this model in your head it's just to do draw lots and lots and lots and lots of drawing, um, which is probably the secret to uh, most things, really. <laughs> and then we can maybe put the hurdle in that is jumping over, and we're kind of building up a story at the same time. We can maybe do a, a kind of a sitting down pose, sitting down, looking up at the sky. Again, you know, get this, learn how to do these kind of, uh, sort of spheres, you know, so that you know where they're facing, so the eyes would be there, wouldn't they, like that, and they'll be. Um, the the neck and again the body and I think in fact the body will be more I'm going to have it more kind of that way and then we'll have this is going to be a very strange angle 
more like that and we'll have the arms coming back there and then forward so we're kind of sitting down on the ground looking at the sky <laughs> and that again will be there and if you, as I keep saying, and I, 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 <laughs> I'm not going to apologise for repeating myself, because repetition is how you learn. In fact, that probably wants to go down there, like that. Uh, repetition is how you learn. Just keep drawing, doodling. Get one of these and just, just doodle it and doodle it until everything is completely in your brain and you can do it in your sleep. And, uh, and then you'll be able to draw bodies from wherever you like, whatever angle you like. And then you can put ears on them, and then you can put some hair on them, and then you can start putting clothes on them, uh, which is maybe a collar will come around like that, jacket, something like that. And you know the jacket will be there. And this continues on from my video, really, the other week, from drawing things from your head. Um, and if you've got models like this inside your head of what a human being looks like, it makes it so much easier just to draw what's on your head because <laughs> you kind of know how to do it. So there we are. Get yourself a mannequin. I'll find some Amazon links and put them in the box below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did and you're wondering about like, my mechanical pencil, go and see this video about whether to use wood pencils or mechanical pencils or just have a go at the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you are subscribed for new drawing videos every Monday and Friday. And why not visit my website to see what I get up to. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.